okay, a lieutenant, I think, in Virginia. Uh, this happened last year. But the reason why the cops were fired recently was because this was uh, escalated again and went viral recently. By the way, the person that they're pulling over uh, goes drives into a gas station because he wants to be in public and in you know it, with a like a environment that's like brightly lit, so that you know this what happened here literally doesn't happen. He's also in his fucking uh, military uh, garb. Falling back. Traffic stop. Put your hands out the window. Felony traffic stop, 1836. Put your hands out the window. Put your hands out the window. How many occupants? All units 213. How many occupants are in the vehicle? What's going on? How many occupants are in your vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? Open the door slowly and step out. Open the door. I'm not getting out the vehicle. What's going on? Get out the car! Open the door slowly and get out! So he doesn't pull over immediately. He instead put on his emergency lights and continued driving under the speed limit and safely parked less than a mile down the road. And he said he wanted to go to a brightly lit area. What's going on? Get out of the car! Now! Open the door! Get out the car! Hold, 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 hold. Keep your hands outside the window. Keep your hands outside the window. My hands are right here. What's going on? Get out of the car now. Get out of the car. What's now. going on? Get out of the car now. Get out of the car now. I'm serving this country and this is how I'm treated. Yo, what? Guess what? I'm a veteran too. I don't know, babe. That's Get out of the car. What's going on? Get out of the car now. They said when a person drives through a lit area, cops assume that they're black. What's going on? What's going on? You're fixing to ride the lightning, son. I'm sorry, what? Get out of the car now! What's going get on? Get out of the car now! Get out of the car! Sir, just get out of the car! Work with us and we'll talk to you! Get out of the car! You receive an order! Obey it! I'm... I'm... a. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you, you should be. Going? Get out. What? You get should out. be. You should be afraid to get out. Like that. First of all, what the fuck is this like gangster ass fucking side? Uh, uh, like he's just like tilted his gun and shit. Like, what are you doing, bro? What the fuck are you doing? You should be. You fucking hot dog motherfucker. Get the fuck out of here. One of them is like, let me talk to you. Let me talk to you. The other one's like, you should be literally. You should be literally fearful for your life. Like, what, what are you, a gangster? Fire this motherfucker. Fuck this guy. I'm on. What Get did out I the do? Car. Get out now. I have not committed any crime. You're being stopped by a traffic violation. You're not cooperating at this point right now. You're under arrest. For a traffic. For, you're being detained, okay? You're being detained for, for a traffic violation. traffic justice. violation. I do not have to get out the vehicle. You haven't even told really? me why I'm being stopped. Really? Get your hands off. Get, get out of the car now. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, get please. Out. Get your hands off me. You know what? Get your hands off me. Get, get your hands off me. Back up there. I didn't do anything. Don't do that. Sir, get out of the car now. Don't do that. Hey, sir, get out of the car that. now. Sir, don't do, look, I'm trying to talk to you. Okay. I'm trying to I'm talk, talk to you. Get out. Just get out of the car. Can you please relax? Can you please relax? Get out of the car right I, now. Now. This is not how you treat a This is what happens when you have fucking thumbs, dude. Like, I mean, literally, physically, when you have a fucking human thumb, uh, when you have a human thumb operating like a human being, uh, you know, trying to do fucking uh, police work, well, this is what happens. Like, why is it that the fucking guy you're detaining is trying to de-escalate the situation while the cop is literally like, nah, fuck that de-escalation. It's time, baby. It's fucking gamer time. I mean, literally, it's just not, nope, sorry. I'm gonna fucking kill you, dude. Sorry. Gonna have to fucking kill you, brother. But, uh, I'm actively serving this country, and this is how you're gonna treat me? I didn't do anything. Whoa, hold on. What's going on? Hold on. Watch. Watch it. Look at this piece of shit, dude. Get out of the car! Get out of the car now! The, the up. The car now! Sir, just get out the car! I'm trying to breathe. 
Get out of the car now! That's f***ed up. That's really f***ed up. Yeah, oh, get out of the car and get on the ground now or you're going to get it again. I, I don't even want to reach my seatbelt. Can you... Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Can you please... Get out of the car now! Listen! Take off your seatbelt and get out of the car. Look, I'm just gonna just please. You're gonna do as you're told. Get out of the car. My, look. My take your seatbelt off and get out of the look. Take your seatbelt off. Look, my hands are out. Take your seatbelt off and get my out of the car. My hands are out. Don't reach in there, Daniel. Don't reach in there. My hands are out, please. Like he's saying, take your seatbelt off and get out of the car now, while simultaneously. Like, he's very clearly afraid that he does not want to fucking touch his own seatbelt because one officer said, I mean, he's literally, the same cop is giving him conflicting orders. They, like, he's saying, keep your hands outside of the car while also saying, you know, take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. In order for you to get out of the car, you literally have to put your hands back inside. He doesn't want to fucking die, okay? Like, the reason why he's not able to obey the lawful order in this situation is because he's not trying to fucking die. And the reason why he wasn't executed here is very likely because he disobeyed the original fucking lawful order of uh, putting his hands in the vehicle and, and taking off his seatbelt. I'm going to keep it 100 with you. That's probably the reason why he only got fucking pepper sprayed and he didn't get fucking full-blown executed here. Okay? <laughs> the same shit happens all the time. Cops love playing fucking Simon Says with motherfuckers when uh, they are uh, just power tripping hardcore and then they end up executing them. It happened with Daniel Shaver as well in Arizona. Please, look, this is really messed up. My dog is in the back. My dog is choking right Get now. Get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off. What are you, a specialist corporal? What are you? I'm a lieutenant. Lieutenant, get out of the car. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. You made this way more difficult. Dude, like, this is a, a fucking lieutenant in the U.S. Army. Motherfucker's got his garb on. Like, I'm telling you right now, dude, this guy getting treated this way means, like, it's just everybody. Everybody's out there, okay? Like, this dude is supposed to be, like, I thought we fucking venerated our veterans. You know, I thought we loved our fucking vets and active duty service members. Look at the way you're fucking treating this guy. Because he's black first, let's be real. Okay, he's black first, military second. It had to be. You just complied. Get out of the car. I'm reaching for my seatbelt. Fine. Take your seatbelt off and get out of the car. Straight on the ground. Straight onto the ground. Ma'am. Is your commanding officer yes, available? Ma'am, let's go. Is your commanding let's officer go. available? Get on the ground. Get on the ground. Please talk to get me on the ground now. Get on the ground and you're getting sprayed again. Get on the ground. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Get on the ground. Get on the ground now. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Get on the ground. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Yes, sir. You're not. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Yes, sir. Can you please talk to me about what's going on? Why am I being treated like this? Why? Because you're not cooperating. Get on the ground. Why am I being treated like this? Really messed up. So now the cop got fired recently. You want to know why the cop got fired recently, even though this was a thing that happened a while ago? You want to know why uh, the investigation started now? Because the video went viral recently, okay? That's why, motherfucker. That's why. Because there was backlash. Because it's never about, like, an individual action occurring that ends up uh, harming you or whatever. It's literally about people finding out about it, okay? Hey! as the officer's body cameras and Nazario's cell phone were all rolling. What's going Get out on? Get now! What's going Nazario, on? who is black and Latino and was wearing What's his military uniform, asks repeatedly why he's being detained. I'm serving this country and this is how I'm treated. One of the responding officers appears to make a reference to the electric chair, according to the lawsuit. What's going on? You're fixing to ride the lightning, son. And then this exchange. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I? Yeah, you, you should be. Get out. Back up. Whoa, Officer on, Joe Gutierrez on, then on. pepper sprays Nazario in the face. Hold on. That's f up. Overnight in a statement, the town acknowledged the unfortunate events. Officer Gutierrez has since been terminated by the Windsor police. Now a civil suit alleging a violation of constitutional rights. My client wants to prevent wants to prevent those two officers 
from doing it to anyone else. Nazario admits in his complaint that he didn't immediately pull over, driving nearly two minutes with his hazard lights on so he could stop at a well-lit gas station. In a report, one of the responding officers writes, the driver was actively resisting when I attempted to unlock and open the driver's Dude, that's such bullshit, dude. And it fucking shows in the goddamn... It, it shows perfectly in the fucking... Here, let's just start from the top. Sorry. The initial call for a felony traffic stop immediately... The reason why I wanted to go through this, uh, it started halfway through, is because I thought that it was just going to re reshow the entire uh, body camera footage without any sort of commentary, but let's start from Turn the top. Turn tense with officers pulling their weapons. Put your hands out the window! A Windsor police officer says in his report he spotted a vehicle with dark tinted windows and no license plate displayed that was eluding police. Though a lawsuit says a paper license plate was visible in the rear window of the new car. How many occupants are in the vehicle? It's only myself. Why are your weapons drawn? What's going on? The two officers demanding U.S. Army Lieutenant Karin Nazario exit the SUV as the officer's body cameras and Nazario's cell phone were all rolling. What's going Get out on? Get now! What's going Nazario, on? who is black and Latino and was wearing What's his military uniform, asks repeatedly why he's being detained. I'm serving this country and this is how I'm treated. One of the responding officers appears to make a reference to the electric chair, according to the lawsuit. What's going on? You're fixing to ride the lightning, son. And then this exchange. To ride the lightning, boys. Ride the lightning uh, is a, uh, I think, like, I, I, it could be a bunch of different things, but it's, uh, it's more often it's used as a term for capital punishment. It's the electric chair. Or chair. Uh, he, some might say it's about the taser, but, um, the most common, the most common fucking term for it, uh, is, is, uh, the, uh, electric chair, but. Metallica had a fucking studio album for it. Death in the air, strapped in the electric chair. This can't be happening to me. It's, a. Uh, but uh, the article on the U.S. Army Reserve official website titled Ride the Lightning describes the process in which by a particular group of trainees learned the full capabilities of the X-26E taser. So since the guy was a veteran as well, uh, I think he just meant uh, usage of the taser there. Um, it doesn't matter. I don't know why we're fucking parsing through the words. Basically, regardless, no matter what the fuck happens there, he's, I mean, he's still literally like, Trying to fucking tase a dude for no reason. It's slang for the chair, but it could also mean that he was, um, like, it doesn't matter. I'm going to tase the fuck out of you. You're, like, excited to get tased. That is a taser, by the way. For the, for those of you who are wondering, that's not a, that's a, that's literally a taser. So, yeah. The guy who had his, he didn't have his lethal uh, out when he said, you're fixing the ride the lightning. He had his taser out. So, um, so he's saying like, I'm going to fucking tase you. I'm you're, you're get excited to be tased. Now, here's the thing. Why the fuck are you trying to tase a dude who literally didn't do anything? Like, what are, what's going on? That's not fucking de-escalation. That's escalation. That's unwarranted escalation. His partner had his lethal out, but it doesn't matter. He had fucking... Uh, he's the one who said, you're fixing the ride the lightning, son. Change. I'm honestly afraid to get out. Can I... Yeah, you should be. Get out. Back up. Whoa, Officer on, Joe Gutierrez on, then on. pepper sprays Nazario in the face. Hold on. That's f***ed up. Overnight in a statement, the town acknowledged the unfortunate events. Officer Gutierrez has since been terminated by the Windsor police. Now a civil suit alleging a violation of constitutional rights. My client wants to prevent, wants to prevent those two officers from doing it to anyone else. Nazario admits in his complaint that he didn't immediately pull over, driving nearly two minutes with his hazard lights on so he could stop at a well-lit gas station. So here's the thing, boys. This, much like every other instance of police brutality, is tied to one another. This is no different than what happened to Dante Wright last night. And the reason why this is no different than what happened to Dante Wright last night 
is because what happened here is exactly what could, what could have happened here is exactly what happened to Dante Wright last night. This is a fear that many black men specifically go through with every fucking police uh, stop. The reasons for why he was stopped to begin with are very similar to one another in both instances. Uh, I think, I believe he had uh, dealership plates on. That's the reason why he was stopped uh, in Virginia. Uh, Dante Wright was uh, stopped because uh, they didn't have tags. He didn't have tags on his uh, license plate and also for air fresheners. It's a bullshit moving violation. It's a bullshit fucking traffic stop that ends up with an escalation uh, of, of force that literally ends up with like the other person being permanently damaged or fucking murdered in the instance of um, uh, Dante. Report, one of the responding officers writes, the driver was actively resisting. When I attempted to unlock and open the driver's door, the driver assaulted myself by striking my hand away. The Supreme Court has held since 1977 that even for a routine traffic stop, officers have the power and the discretion to order a driver out of the car. We reached out to Officer Joe Gutierrez overnight. So far, we have not heard back after, after Virginia's Governor Ralph Northam. The problem is, during COVID, by the way, a big issue with fucking uh, plates not being, uh, uh, like, plates not having, like, up-to-date tags and shit. And I literally went through this myself recently, as you all know, is that the DMV is super backed up, Okay. The DMV is super backed up right now, so they cannot fucking, they're, they're not open, they're super backed up as a consequence of COVID. They can't manage the influx of requests, so a lot of people have expired tags. A lot of people have expired registration. I've been driving around with a fucking expired registration for a year. And I've been waiting. Like, I, I literally waited for nearly six months for the DMV in California to finally fucking cycle through and get to my request. Uh, I sent them the money and everything else like that. And, and uh, you know, they were finally able to do that. But that's why there's leniency. That's why there's supposed to be some kind of fucking leniency, okay? And there isn't. He's described this incident as disturbing, and he has directed the Virginia State Police to conduct an independent investigation. Shut the fuck up. It's not that hard here in L.A., I don't understand why people literally say this when I am describing my personal experience that I have documented on the stream for a very long time. Like, you're literally saying this, but I waited six months after I paid all of my fines and everything else uh, for my registration to finally come back. So I don't know why you're saying, like, it's literally not that way in L.A. When I'm in L.A. and I already did this, and I'm telling you my personal anecdote... I just don't know. I don't know why people would be like, oh, it doesn't matter. Like, 